Hi, Laurie Donahue again from Total Management and Training with another whiteboard session on hazardous chemicals. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the Globally Harmonised System. That stands for Globally Harmonised System for the Classification and Labelling of Chemicals. And it basically is a system to classify and communicate hazards associated with hazardous chemicals internationally around the world. You'll find these pictograms that we have here on labels on containers and also in the safety data sheets. And they provide you with information about the issues associated with that chemical. And they're a good indicator when you get a chemical into your workplace of the things that you need to consider as part of your risk assessment. So we have nine different pictograms and I'm going to go through each of those briefly just to give you a description. It's only a very simple description but a description of what each of one of these stands for. So the first one I want to talk to you about is a flame over circle. So we'll see the flame over the top of a circle, a line underneath and that relates to oxidising gases, liquids and solids. The flame deals with simply flammables, self-heating substances, that is substances that self-generate heat. A substance that could in, uh, emit a flammable gas that you could inhale or could explode. They may react with themselves and it includes things like organic peroxides. The last one on this part is exploding bomb, which basically is explosive. Self-reactives, pretty obvious, is the explosive bomb one. Next one we need to look at is gas cylinders. Now that could be gases under pressure. It can include things like compressed gases and liquefied gases. The skull and cost bones is things like acute toxicity. Now that could be fatal or toxic, and it can include the oral, which is in through the mouth, dermal, contact through the skin, and inhalation, inhaling a fume or something like that from the substance. Corrosive can be things like skin and corrosion burns. It could be corrosive to another substance, such as a metal. It could cause eye damage if it comes into contact with your eye. Health hazards include things that are carcinogens, in other words, cause cancer, mutagens, reproductive toxicity that can affect females and males in the reproduction of organs, and finally, can be a respiratory sensitizer, and it can include things like those substances which can affect your breathing and affect long-term your ability to breathe and take oxygen. Environment includes things like aquatic toxicity. The environmental toxicity, so it's those things that can impact on the environment. And finally, we have the exclamation mark, which is basically a health hazard, and it can include in things like irritants, skin and eye, skin sensitizer, acute toxicity, narcotic and breathing irritants. So that's the end of another whiteboard session on globalised harmonised system, and we will give you more information in other sessions. If you like this video, then hit the like button below. Why not share this with your friends and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let me know what your thoughts are regarding these tips and if you are going to implement them. Thank you so much and I will see you on our next video.